It's the job of the controllers here to keep track of the vast number of planes and make sure they never collide by fine-tuning their routes. Sean Sanders has ultimate responsibility for making sure this vital system works without a hitch. Facility in a complex. So Sean, tell me what we're looking at here. So what you're looking at right now is every single aircraft that we're tracking via radar over the United States and up here is Canada. So these are all of the planes across America all right now? Right now, as we speak. What you're looking at is over 5,500 planes right now. Wow. This looks like a swarm of bees. How do you even go about organizing this chaos? Looking at it like this, it looks like a lot and it is a lot, but it's extremely organized. And we have invisible highways in the skies and these planes fly those highways to get from point A to point B. And each segment along the way, they make their left turn or right turn or go straight until they get to their destination. But is it almost as though you're looking at all of the cars in a city moving around, but you just can't see the roads? Correct. Ordinarily, it's busy enough, but over Thanksgiving, the controllers handle up to 9,000 flights in a day. That's on average one every 10 seconds. Preventing aviation gridlock takes total focus and concentration. Next Wednesday uh, is the busiest travel day of the year, the day before Thanksgiving here in the United States. Are you really on edge on that day? No. <laughs> do you have anxiety dreams about this man? Never. This is just what we do. We don't think about the number of people on the planes or how many planes. We know we have hundreds of thousands of people's lives in our hand, but that's not what's running through your mind when you're controlling these planes.